Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I'm Nikita and today we are going to talk about an important topic. Are hand sanitizers safe to use? But before starting the video, I request you to subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's start. Hand sanitizers, which are excessively used these days because of Corona pandemic, should ideally contain 60% of the alcohol. 60% is the minimum quantity of alcohol. Okay, it can be more. Now, this alcohol should be either ethanol, which is ethyl alcohol, or isopropanol, which is isopropyl alcohol. These two alcohols, ethanol and isopropanol, are approved by US FDA for sanitization and disinfection. Sanitization as in sanitizing the hands, disinfection of the surfaces. Okay. Now, apart from these two alcohols, no other alcohol is approved by US FDA, which can be used in hand sanitizers or disinfectants. Okay. Now, there is another alcohol which is known as methanol. This is not approved till date because it is very toxic. Now, the thing here to notice is methanol is an impurity of ethanol. Meaning, whenever ethanol is produced on a large scale, industrially, in bulk quantities, an unintentional component is methanol which is produced during the production of our main interest ethanol okay so in that case the methanol production is an unintentional production okay but what happens is some manufacturers they use methanol as an active component in the hand sanitizers but this is very dangerous now methanol is not an acceptable ingredient of hand sanitizers or disinfectants therefore it should not be used as an active ingredient the active ingredient should be either ethanol or isopropanol. Now, why methanol is forbidden to be used in hand sanitizers or disinfectants? Because it is very toxic. Now, toxic how? If methanol is consumed by either oral consumption or if it is absorbed by the skin or even inhaled, okay, it might lead to methanol poisoning. What happens is the body will metabolize the alcohol methanol. It will be metabolized to formaldehyde. Formaldehyde will be metabolized to formic acid. Now, accumulation of formic acid in the liver is very toxic because it will lead to death or it will damage the brain and the optic nerve. Optic nerve is in terms of vision related nerves. Okay. So, if a person is exposed to methanol, he will be having certain symptoms of methanol poisoning, which are nausea, vomiting, headache, blurred vision, permanent blindness. Now, why permanent blindness? Because the optic nerve is damaged due to the formic acid. Okay. Shizzle, coma permanent damage to nervous system and eventually death. Now, even a small quantity of methanol is very toxic to human body. And that's the reason immediate action is required to treat the patient so that the poisoning symptoms can be reversed. It's very critical. And recently, US FDA has banned certain manufacturers which produced and sanitizers with methanol as an active ingredient. So, we need to be more careful in terms of uh, what is the ingredient which is used in hand sanitizers. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.